Hey, what's up guys? It's Matthew here, the hybrid, the designer and developer. We are continuing with Shared CN UI course. We are on video number six. If it's your first time here, I will advise you to go and check uh, these videos so that you can get um, what we already covered and also you can be ready mentally. Since in these videos, I'm coming with some sort of um, um an unorthodox way of explaining shed cn obviously the internet pushes people to this direction and i'm pushing people to the opposite direction so in order to get my philosophy and what i'm about please uh check these uh videos so um in this video we are going to clean up this project and uh get it ready so in the meantime um so what we've already did we've just installed a new uh next js uh, application here we've just created a new js application and you can look in uh, the history we've also added uh typescript what i've um mentioned in the previous video um what is worth mentioning okay is to check here in this installation of shared cn what are the files that shared cn is using okay and remember these files are some sort of files that are used by the Next.js um, framework and also by Tailwind CSS, okay? And also TypeScript. So it's important to know which files um, that ShedCN is using. As you can see here, ShedCN is making use of this global CSS, which is this one. Um, also, it's making use of Tailwind TS, Tailwind config, uh, which is this one, okay? uh this is just a folder and this is just a folder okay um what else also it has got this component dot json file which i don't think it's um uh, here okay let's see what it's saying about that right configuration to component okay it has got um this uh file but i don't see it here but it's not important because i'm not going to talk about it in this series okay so now let's just uh, clean this okay Let's just clear this, okay? And then what we are going to do, we are going to run this project to see visually what is there. And then from then we have to delete everything and start from scratch. Um, okay, the, next, the, first, the, the first thing that we're going to start with, let me just quickly show you, even though we are not going to do that in this video, we are going to start here, okay? In the dark mode, okay? So this is what we're going to do uh sorry okay so we are going to do uh something like this okay if you might be interested to ask me something or schedule a discovery call you can come here give me your name and email boom then we can talk i can explain uh things that i'm not able to cover in uh youtube and also i might create a course tailor made for your own unique problem okay let's just jump straight into it npm run dev okay so what we are doing now we are just um, running the project um basically what we are going to do in this video we are just going to clean this up so um let me just give you a brief about next.js app router okay so when next.js when the next.js application is starting it always start on this app folder and then from the app folder it will go to the pages folder so this is like our home page this is where we are going to spend most of our time in we're going to spend most of our time here and maybe once here on the layout okay so let's just go here so as you can see this is um the home page okay this is the home page we are going to delete all of this uh, let's just quickly see what's there in the home page okay okay in case you are wondering how do i know if uh, that's the url for the application you can check here Okay, as you can see, this is where the application is running. Okay, let's quickly check there. It's going to, to take some time. Okay, that's not much of a problem. Um, so we are going to start with the dark mode. Okay, so as you can see, um, this is the, 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 the home screen or the landing page. So what we want to do, we want to delete everything that is here. So what I want you to do is to highlight everything and delete, okay? 
and then you can save and then what i want you to do is to type rfce and then press enter okay if you have typed uh, rfce and this didn't happen it will mean that you have not installed an extension okay that helps you with code snippet okay so i always forgot that extension or that plugin okay what i usually do i just uh, uh, type react uh, re redox okay uh react redox snippet extension uh it's not this one okay let me just say react okay uh react redox it's this one okay as you can see this one is the installed one so meaning that it's not all other ones it's this one es7 react redox graphql let me click it so that you can see so you need to install this okay as you can see this one is the installed one okay so meaning that this will enable you to do what we've just did okay um let me close this okay so meaning that when you deleted everything you can just say rfce and that's it okay this shortcut will take the name of this page okay as the name okay so meaning that if you want you can leave it like this but as a good programming practice um please make your components capital letters okay if it's going to be p okay just make uh it's the same as this page but just make it a capital letter because as we continue or maybe when you are developing something else you might notice that react might um some sort of complain that this is not a react functional component since it doesn't have the capital letters okay so now um we are done with this let's just say um hello world let's just type here hello world let's see what we have okay as you can see we've got hello world in case um you are seeing some funny styling here maybe stripe lines or some sort of a gradient or grayish colors that you don't like it will mean that you have to go to your global css under body okay as you can see under body this is a styling okay gray text what what whatever you just have to remove this okay so that there could be no default styling so that you can have a blank template like this one okay um what else i will i wanted to cover here i have talked a little bit about this page and this okay let's talk about um the file structure okay remember we said um did i think this is the component.json file i was looking for here and i said it's not here okay but uh, i've already said we are not going to use it anyway okay so what i want us to talk about it's the folders okay more especially the component folder this folder has been created by shared cn okay if we install a new uh shared cn component there will be a folder under this one which is called ui okay so what we want to do we want to create our own um component okay so the internet will tell you that ShedCN it's um, a UI library and whatever. That's not what I'm preaching. My philosophy is, let me go back to the home page. ShedCN it's a tool to help you to build your own component library. Okay, so I'm not about the colors. I'm not about the beauty. I'm not about the simplicity. I'm not about the shortcuts of the user interface copy and paste i'm not about that i'm all about helping you to build your own component library what does building your own component library mean if shared cn offer you these okay meaning that um uh, what can i say these are some sort of easy to use kind of copy and paste template okay they are already beautiful well styled as you can see let me show you here okay i didn't style this that much it came with this uh, uh close icon and other things maybe i did some changes here but not that much even here um sorry 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 for that okay that's not where i want to go even here i didn't style this box okay 
and also this i only worked on this okay so meaning that the beauty aspect of it it's more like something that is built in it comes with the package okay so we cannot really um some sort of shrink this um library into some sort of ui component okay but what i see it as based on my experience it helps you to build your own component okay what does helping you to build your own component mean if then we are not about the aesthetics okay it means that number one you are going to be quicker on creating a component and efficient okay and also um in terms of maintaining those components is going to be easier this means that uh, this talks to front end as an engineering okay you become a better developer okay by doing this not just by being happy with copy and paste but building your own component library with that being said it will mean that let's go to component and let's create our own component library okay usually this is what i do i always write my component okay components okay i always have this folder which is my components okay meaning that in this folder i am going to have my personal component okay and then what i'm going to do uh, for clarity for now let me introduce something else which is the vendors okay um where are these components coming from okay and then i will have matthew here which is these are the components that i'm going to create my own my own button my own everything and then i'm going to have also here shared cn okay shared cn this means that out of shared cn i will create remember my own because shared cn is all about helping you to build your own component library i'm going to create my own but based on their template so that's why we have shared cn here okay so if maybe um, there is also another uh what can i say another library that, that i've used and i've also created my own sample of um components from i will just put the folder here okay why do we have this folder let's say i'm creating a new project guess what i'm going to do it's very simple i will just copy this component folder and paste it there and then boom i'm good to go install shared cn i will have all my components that i have made my template that i have made which are easy to customize and i know how to customize them okay um, I think, uh, guys, uh, that's about it. Thank you so much for viewing this video. Please, if uh, this series is adding more value into your overall understanding of Shed CN and uh, user interface design and development, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. See you on the next one.